What up, man? It's your boy, Big Cell FHOHNIC. Check this out, man. I am here at an exclusive look at the new 2024 CVO ST. Now, listen, man, I just happened to be driving by and I caught them outside, man. You feel me? Hey, they, you already know. If I catch it, you got to let me see it, man. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to show you this bike. We're going to walk around and we're going to talk about all the specs. I'm telling you right now, man, first look, I love it. May have to get one, may not. Stay tuned. It's your boy, Big Seal. Let's go, baby. Big Seal, you a fool for this one. That's right. FHO. Shit. Let's roll. Huh? FHO. 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 Big Seal in your radio. Cash show since the misfits couldn't carry on, but I'ma carry on and okay. get the party cracking. The homegirl seven carats known for text blasting. Get she on the rap. If you want action, 800 plus, it's a known fashion. Keep a backup plan, custom wheels cracking. Big cell can keep it real. What a passion. All gas, no break, in and out of traffic. You see your brother on the hall, respect the passions. Rather they outlaws or outcasts. Big cells top five when you in traffic. Roger Rod, mind your business, stay in your own lane. Respect others in the set the game. That's Spread right. black love the old fashioned way. You miss the West with the South. It's a master pass. F H O F H O F H O. Big cell in your radio. F H O F H O F H O. Big cell on your radio. F H O F H O F H O. Big cell in your radio. F H O F H O F H O. Big cell on your radio. Again, appreciate y'all, man. I love you guys. Thank you for the calls. Uh, thank you for the donations. No doubt, Don't forget, man, support the channel. Support the platform. I need you. I ain't going to tell you no lie. And again, man, I love you guys. Don't forget the five things I'm going to leave you with. Ride your own ride. Stay in your own lane. Mind your business. Uh, have enough love in yourself to have some love for me. We're going to ride for love and love to ride, man. We gone, man. We gone. To Falcon Fury Harley Davidson, man, for giving me the opportunity to see this bike up close and personal and bring it to you firsthand, man. It is a beautiful machine. I really believe that Harley Davidson has done their thing. And if you're interested in getting one, especially this one that you see in this video, this is where I was at Falcon Fury Harley Davidson in Conyers, Georgia. Give them a call. You can ask for Low Key or my man Leonard. They'll take care of you. Falcon Fury Harley Davidson. Appreciate you. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia, man. It is Tuesday. I don't even know. What is this? Uh, January the 25th or the 26th? Anyway, I was telling you guys earlier, man, I was driving by Falcon Fury Harley Davidson and caught them outside with the new CVO Road Glide ST. Listen, man, they trying to get all of my monies today. You understand me? But I'm gonna bring in one of the expert salesmen, man, and we're gonna talk about it. Talk about what they know about it so far, what they like, what they don't like, any improvements that they can see, and maybe whatever add-ons and additions that can come with it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce my man, the salesman of the year, my man, Low Key. What up, baby? What's up with you? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> up? Say, man, first off, thank you for this opportunity, man, to yeah, see this beautiful machine, man, and to uh, have a first look at it, man. What do you think about it right off the rip? Man, I love it. I, 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 I was a little apprehensive about it at first because I just wasn't sure. I was thinking like Roguelite ST, you know, CVO. But now that I see it, you know, I get it. You know, everything that, that, that they've done with it, you know, as, as, as far as the, you know, the inverted, you know, forks, the, the, uh, the upgraded intake, from what I heard, it's like maybe like six more horsepower over okay. last year's CVO. Um, they made it, uh, how, how much lighter is it, Leonard? 25 or 30, I think yeah, 25, yeah, about 25 pounds, even lighter yeah. than last year's CVO. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this well, thing is designed to move. Let's let's talk about the new look. Is it going to be a problem, man, everybody going from how what Harley-Davidson is used to looking to now? Do you think that's going to be a problem? I don't think it's going to be a problem. You know, the reason being is because you got to move forward, can't yeah. move back. Okay. And I think what Harley has done with the design is more, to me, it's more aerodynamic. You know, it's more futuristic. And it's going to take them to the next, you know, level in the next phase as far as design. I mean... I'm looking forward to riding it, you know, just kind of see what, 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 what it feels like as far as the performance of, of the new fairing. But, I mean, I, I dig it. When it comes to the customization of it, we always, my, my, it's always been a thing for me that the CVO should be the ultimate motorcycle. Right. I mean, you pay the premium price, we yep. know that, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to trading, you get a better value. But when it comes to being a CVO, to me, it should be the ultimate motorcycle. Do you feel like they've finally done it with this one? I think they have, yeah. you know, CVOs are, and, and a lot of people don't know this, CVOs are all hand built, hand painted. So they're not on the assembly number. line like the regular Harleys? No. Okay. No. Okay. These, these, these are hand built, hand painted. So just so y'all understand, okay, there's value in the CVO. It's a very limited number and, you know, machines don't really touch this. It's all done by hand. So just okay. so y'all understand, you know, what you're looking at and what you're getting. Okay. One right. thing I'm going to tell you that caught my attention when I was driving by right off is the look of it, especially with the front fairing, yeah. with the eagle on there. You know, we all love that, that eagle, um, and it, it just kind of gave me a different, a different whole look. Of course, I can see the different, the uh, chrome, the black chrome on the there. The black chrome on yeah. the motor. The yeah. black chrome on the motor. As far as the uh, uh, all your heat pieces, shield yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, your heat shield and everything, man. It's just, it's just a beautiful looking machine. And it, it makes me, no lie, when the first CVOs came out, I was kind of like, uh, they had the gray one and the orange one. It was like whatever. But seeing this one, bro, yeah. it totally changed my mind. Let's talk about the handlebar risers. When you talk about the handlebar risers, the handlebars are set up different now. What, what did they do different? So they actually did like a, what is it, like a two-inch riser? Something like that, like a two-inch riser on the, uh, on the handlebar. And... What it does, it gives you even more flexibility. If you want to change this bar out, you can. You no longer have that hindrance, you know, mm -hmm. from, from the older, like, road glides and CVOs in which you had to do a lot of disassembly just to get to it. Now it's right there in your face, yeah. and you got that riser that's bringing it up some. If you do want to go with, a, you know, a much higher bar, you, you, you can, but you really don't have to. It gives yeah. you more flexibility where you might not have to go with as long a cable to get to a higher bar. Let's talk about this right here, the 25th CVO. What does that mean? So that was the, uh, what is this? I, I forgot. Yeah, 25th anniversary of the CVO. Of the CVO yeah. line, period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the 25th anniversary of the CVO line. Man, again, like I said, I'm just looking at it and I'm just, it's just so many questions. Let me ask you this. What is, what is this now? What do we have right here? Because this is, I've been seeing that. Like, I call it the roller, the roller blade uh -huh. ball or whatever. I don't know what they, is that for performance? Is that for? Yeah. And, and see, this, this, this is a way that they, see, the bike's like 25 pounds lighter. Okay. Okay. And they eliminated, you know, just a little weight here and there. You now just have this smaller crash bar right here. Okay. Okay. Eliminate some of that weight, but that is actually your crash bar. Wow. Okay, so that protects the motorcycle without having all the weight of that full crash bar on there. And I noticed that they went with a carbon fiber fender. Yeah, well, carbon I mean, fiber fender. What was that about? Weight loss. Make it, li <laughs> make it lighter. That's it. You know? Weight loss, huh? Yeah. Man, listen, overall, the bike looks phenomenal. Um, 
we don't have a price yet on this. I'm waiting on a price. By the time you guys see this video, a price should be added to it. Also, okay, is this carbon fiber carbon as well? Carbon fiber too, huh? as well, yeah. Can you change that to a full back seat if you wanted yes, to? Yes, you can. Yeah. You do have the option to change this to a full back seat. That just screws right off. Yeah. That'll pop off if you want to put the uh, passenger seat on there, okay. you can. That's so you do have too. a lot of options. That's a lot of and options. And don't forget you got the... Yeah, yeah so are these, um, are these, these don't really look like Oilers. Is it a different Harley Davidson brand maybe? I believe this is a uh, Harley Davidson brand. I'm not sure. Y'all gotta y'all gotta bear with me because this bike just came in. It just came in. <laughs> Literally. So I'm, I mean. I'm learning about this bike as we speak. But you know, y'all see what it is. Man. By the time, you know, y'all come in, I will have way more knowledge on it. But right now I'm learning as as we all as are. As we all yeah. are, man. It, again, a beautiful machine, a beautiful bike. Um, let's talk about some of the uh the features of the radio and the uh, the infotainment system. First off, that screen is huge. That's almost bigger than the screen on my BMW. Man, the screen is crazy. <laughs> That's a 12 inch screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. 12 inch uh, screen. Wow. So you got the digital dash now? Yes. Okay. And you can, uh, I mean, it's, it's going to take a little minute to boot up. But yeah. You do have a lot of options, like as, as far as the layout. Okay, you can change the colors, or you can whatever. change the color. You can change the uh, the actual layout itself. Okay. So if you want to change the display, okay. So we can go to display right here. So if you want to change the layout, because this is a cruise layout. Okay. If you want to go to the sport layout, you choose okay. sport, touch it, boom. Oh wow. That's your sport layout. You want to go to the touring layout. Okay. That's your tour layout. So just gives you the different display settings on how yes. you wanna how you wanna set it up. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the cruise. cruise layout. Yeah, that's hot. Wow. And of course you also have navigation on here. Have they updated the navigation um, post cause the, a lot of the older Harley's navigations, you know. Come on, Harley. Y'all was having us lost in the bushes, but I'm Harley has some challenges, <laughs> especially on them those uh, Mount Rushmore bikes. That yeah. navigation, it was it was ooh wee. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you just didn't know where you were gonna end up. A lot of people just use their phone. They're like, man, effort. I'm just gonna use my. phone. I see. This one comes with the Rockford Fosgate uh, yes. stereo system upgrade with the speakers. Yes, and have you do you, and you do have six. Um, well, not not on this one because it's ST, but the other version you do have true six by nines in the lids as well. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You okay. Six by nine. Okay. So yeah. you. Have they have the lids with the six by nine? Now, is this a bigger lid than a stock bag? Is yes, this a, it is. I mean a bigger bag than a stock bag. Well, this is a, this is actually the same size. They they've gone with the with a wider bag. Uh huh. On all of the uh, the road glides and street glides. Okay. For twenty twenty four, road glide street glide, but I see except the, the uh, I see that CVO key. Yeah, there it is. Does this one lock up too? It locks the bike up as well. Let's it see. should. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this one locks it up. I don't know. I don't know if it got a button. I don't think it got a button. Yeah. That's the key, huh? Might, might, might not on it. Because you know what? They lost, they, they trimmed away so much weight yeah. on that to where they probably didn't add that mechanism to the ST. Yeah. But on the other one, it does. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful bike, man. Hands down, in your opinion, man, if a person wanted to buy a new bike and you wanted to get into the new CVO, is this the one to purchase? This is definitely one to purchase because you're getting a bike that not everybody's gonna have. So okay. when you pull up, you ain't gonna look like everybody else and ain't nobody gonna look like you. You know what I mean? So it's a bike, I mean, it's a very exclusive bike. And like I said, very limited number. First cat on I see the new the floorboards too. They went with a smaller floorboard. I, I mean, but that's still a hot floorboard. Yeah. I would love to see that line when it comes out. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a hot line when it comes out. Heated grips, of course, or the grips heated. Uh, might be well, different. on the ST, no. <laughs> on the ST, no? Yeah, on okay. the ST, no. Okay. Uh, they, they didn't do a heated grip on the ST. Because okay. it's all about, you know, shedding Performer. weight. Yeah, this, this ain't a, yeah, yeah. You're mm -hmm. trying to get down the road and get there quick with this yep. one. Man, I love the back lights on there. That's hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hot. How they blink. Okay. That's hot. All around, man, I just, I think it's a good look, brother. I think the bike is ready. Does it look like this windshield adjusts? Does this windshield adjust? Uh, this windshield does, this, does not adjust. It has a you do have the adjustable vent right okay. there. Yes. And it just looked like the way it was made, it would mm -hmm. adjust slide forward or backwards. Okay. And I can, and, I, and I'm pretty sure that they got a lot of customizations that are coming forward. There's a lot of customization that's coming forward. 
um, from Harley as well as third party manufacturers. Yes. They got to catch up. You yeah. know what I mean? So like when this stuff come out, man, everybody taking notes, all the all the third party manufacturers taking notes, they looking at it, they trying to dissect it, they trying to get their hands on one so that they can figure out, you know, exactly what they're going to bring out for the bike. So, wow. You know, I would say, man, let's 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 keep our eyes open. Say, man, again, it's a beautiful machine. Uh I am impressed with it. I'm impressed with the upgrades that Harley is doing. They're uh, they're not playing, man. They're, they're trying their best to hear what we're saying. They're trying their best to hear us out when it comes to the, the different things that we're looking for. And I just think it's a beautiful machine, man. I can't wait to see the upgrades. I can't wait to see. Now, this also comes in two colors, right, this version? Yeah, and there's also a white version. Okay. Yeah, there's a white one as well. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't a... have that yet, but, you know, we wanted the first people to have the black one touch now. So the eagle is here. The eagle is here. That would have landed. So is there a such thing, is, is, is this called the Screaming Eagle or is this called the S? Because I was heard, I was told that they're going to have a Screaming Eagle as well. So it, there there is a, the Screaming Eagle, but that's a slightly different platform. Okay. It's going to be a little more traditional. Okay. Okay. Um, it's going to have all of the features that come on your normal CBO. But okay. like I said, this is more of a, Performance CVO, the ST. CVO. Yeah, okay. the ST. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there it is, there, man. Your man, low key in the building. I'm over here at Falcon Fury Harley Davidson. Uh, they have it, they got it waiting on you. You feel me? Uh, we're still going to wait on the price. Hopefully, by the time this video is launched, the price will be listed on the video. This is the man to come see. Uh, he can put you on it. As he said, what you call it? Getting your keyed up? Get your keyed up. <laughs> I'm going to get it. Falcon Fury Harley Davidson, y'all. Peace.